What's up YouTube, this is Groudon Empire and I am back for another episode of my Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire Raiding Battle Spot Single Laddering Series. Currently I am doing a Mega Sceptile team and I actually am doing Mega Evolution teams for all of the new Megas introduced in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, well most of them except for the Laddies and uh, Salamins unless you guys seriously demand uh, that you guys want to see it and if you guys really want to see them you have to show it by smashing the hell out of the like button if you know if I see enough likes to actually make me want to get myself competitive Latios and Latias which is extremely hard to do <laughs> then sure I will uh, attempt that otherwise the way things are going I'm not going to do them but yeah, I, ha I am doing teams covering uh, all, all of the other Mega Evolutions introduced in Oras. Currently, this is going to be Mega Sceptile Team Part 2. If you did not check Part 1 out uh, of this of Mega Sceptile Team, definitely check that out because I have one battle, uh, definitely a battle you want to check out, and uh, something that is, the, that is similar with all of my Mega Evolution uh, trilogies is that Part 1 always has a team summary at the beginning, so if you're interested behind my thought process when building this team, then uh, definitely check Part 1 out for that, as well as that battle, but definitely that battle, if not for anything else. Because I don't know if anything in Part 2 or Part 3 are going to end up make, uh, end up being as good as that battle. And without further ado, with, uh, sorry, without further ado, let's just continue with our challenges. So I only did one battle, so I need to do five more at least because I I do a minimum of six battles between uh, all these three episodes, part one, part two, and part three. So let's go. Press the challenge button. Right now we are sitting at a 1643 rating. It is not particularly good, but it is far from bad. Far from bad. Well, yeah, well... Yeah, it's not too far from... But yeah, it is far from bad. It actually is. Bad is when you're like stuck at 1500 and you're below 1500. So we're far from bad, but we're also not as close to good as I want. Uh, 1720 is our opponent. So uh, 1700s is basically a place you want to be around, alright? That's where you're considered good in my opinion, alright? But it's alright because I'm using this team primarily to showcase it and every single battle 1600 plus is actually really competitive so you cannot give anyone who has 1600 plus points any uh, discredit because they're at least a little good so you have to respect them. Hey, all right. So we see our opponent. They have a Breloom. They have a Cloister, and they have a they have a dra they have a potential Sasher in Cloister, in the Breloom, in the in the Garchomp. So that means I need rocks. I seriously need rocks. I want to start off with this guy because because of that. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. And um, what else is going on here? Let's see what's cracking here. Uh, yeah. Uh, the Dragonite hates it. Talonflame hates it. Breloom breaks that sash breaks cloister sash breaks and also more importantly it gets a huge amount of tip damage and that tip damage is extremely important for something like cloister which can destroy teams apart and the last but not least there's a damn uh dig uh, there's a darn uh what's that thing called Sa uh, not salamence man guard stomp yes there's a, there's a guard stomp there and it usually runs sash as well so if that thing is sashed then it breaks that thing too so i'm going to start off with that I'm going to bring the Sceptile, because Sceptile, we saw last game, it puts in crazy, crazy, crazy work versus uh, Gliscor, and it can also put in work versus a non-set-up Dragonite, and it can also put in work, I actually am immune to the, to the Breloom, so isn't that interesting? To me, that's extremely interesting, actually. That's extremely interesting. So that's awesome. Uh, last Pokemon, I'm going to pick Magnezone because Magnezone deals with the Cloister, even if it's set up. And it's Scarfed, so it can deal with things with Flash Cannon and uh, Volt Switch. So it's nice. So Garchomp, Sceptile, and Magnezone. Those are the three that I'm picking. As you can tell, Magnezone so far is an extremely nice partner for Sceptile. Uh, part 1, it also was an amazing partner. And uh, I, I don't even know who else I used in that part. I really don't. Oh yeah, I probably use the same exact team. Yeah, so as you can tell, this core is actually pretty darn sweet. I want to switch right away onto Sceptile because I predict the Spore. He might use Rock Tomb and then Mock Punch and all that darn stuff, but I don't care. I'm just going to go straight up for it. I want to switch out and then I'm going to use Dar uh, Dragon Pulse. 
I wanted to set up rocks, but it's fine because he's not going to destroy me. I don't think. He uses rock tomb. I'm in trouble. Oh my goodness. I'm in. Oh my god. Wow. Wow. That was so much damage. This is definitely. This is, has to be like. A bandit? Is this bandit? I think this is bandit. I think this thing is bandit. I seriously think this thing is bandit. If it's not, then I'm just a dead person. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna use outrage because oh my god. Okay, alright, never mind. Alright, so we're we're okay. We are in trouble here. So we just got played. We got played. Oh, we got played. All right. We got played. Um, I'm just going to switch out into my Magnezone because we just got played. Hoo, hoo, hoo. As I told you, people who are in 1700s plus, that's when you're considered good, in my opinion. And we just got played. Like, damn, we got played big, big time. Not sure what my opponent's gonna do. They're probably gonna go for a mock punch because I think that kills me at this range, actually. So I'm gonna switch out into Garchomp. I just want this thing's sash to break. Once this thing's sash is broken, I think I stand a chance at winning. Maybe. Actually, I don't think so anymore because Sceptile took way too much damage. Yeah. Yeah, Sceptile took too much damage. We're losing this, guys. <laughs> Unless I break out of sleep. I, I doubt I'm breaking out of sleep. There's no way. No way. He's going to use Mach Punch again. He's going to take more of skin damage. And I don't wake up. And he's probably going to use, like, Rock Tomb now or something. I don't care. I'm just going to use Outrage. I want this thing dead. Nope, he's going to use Mach Punch. He wants to play it safe. Mach Punch is going to destroy the Mega Sceptile. Oh, man. I'm so sorry, Sceptile. I'm so sorry you have to die. Uh, I'm just going to make sure to see what happens. I really think Breloom destroys Sceptile. 56 HP health. Yeah. Yeah, that's not... That, yeah, we're not surviving that. Neither is... This stinks. Man, my opponent made a seriously good play turn one. Seriously good play. Uh, I'm going to Mega Evolve anyway because I'm not a quitter. I am not a quitter. And if there's even the slightest chance that I can survive, I'm going to take that with me. You know, I'm going to take that with me and hopefully, hopefully something good happens. He's going to mock punch. I hope he doesn't kill us. And he kills us, and we're a dead. We are a dead team. Breloom destroyed our entire team. <laughs> Remember this, guys. Breloom tore us apart. Breloom completely obliterated us. I'm just going to lock myself into Flash Cannon. Uh, Mock Punch kills me. <sighs> yep. Turn one, I was supposed to stay in and use Rock Tomb of my own, or something along those lines. Use Earthquake. Something. I was supposed to do something. Destroy the Breloom. I was supposed to do something like that. But I did not. And because of that, we are going to pay. So this is actually a very disgusting start to this part. But hey, you, you're... Part 1 had a really nice video. You want to check that battle out. That was a really nice battle, so check that out. And hey, maybe the rest of the battles in this video will be awesome. So stay tuned. You might, we might face some more uh, really nice games because that was a good game you know my opponent destroyed us but that just went to show you you know the skill required to be someone at 1700 plus and i actually was at 1705 earlier when i was using my Me mega pidgeot team uh spoiler alert for anyone who hasn't watched the mega pidgeot trilogy yet that's in the that's in the playlist if you want to check that out and i've been in the high 1600s uh low uh, uh for a while with a few of my teams early on so definitely check it out if you're interested to see how i was playing when i was up there 
All right, so we see our opponent and we see an Ampharos. When I see Ampharos and Chandelure, I think right away Trick Room. There's also Ferrothorn, so then seriously, I think right away Trick Room. And then I see a Greninja, and Greninja is, a tr is troublesome. And then I also want to do tip damage to that Chandelure because, oh my gosh, Chandelure is annoying. So I might just start off with Guard Town for the rocks because I don't really think I need Guard Town for anything else. I really think that's the case. I seriously think that's the case. No, actually, you know what? I'm going to start off with the Magnezone, actually. Because I'm faster. Wait, am I faster than Greninja? I don't think I'm faster than Greninja. Let's do some math here. Uh, I think I'm faster than... No, 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 no. It has 60, so... No, Greninja's faster than me. Or that's troublesome. Greninja might be faster than me, but it's okay. It is all right. It is okay. It's okay. Um, it's not okay, man. I'm gonna start off with Guard Chomp. I'm gonna have Magnezone because Magnezone puts in work. Uh, it can trap those Steel types and destroy them. And it's Scarf to tear those other two Pokemon apart, Chandelure and uh, Vaporeon. And Sceptile can deal with an Ampharos, I would think. All right, I really think that Sceptile can deal with that, and Sceptile, but Sceptile hates Ice Beam. That's the problem. Uh, I really want Sceptile, but then, no, no, I think, I think actually my best move is to use Talonflame. Right, Garchomp, Manazone, and Talonflame. So this game is gonna have Garchomp, Manazone, and Talonflame. Not gonna use uh, Sceptile this time. And the reason I'm not doing that is because there is a Greninja, and if I don't Mega Evolve before I face a Greninja, Greninja's gonna Ice Beam me and I'm gonna die, and none of us are gonna be happy anymore. And if that thing has a low kick, it destroys my Magnezone, and it's faster even though I'm Scarf. And I think right now is a good time to use Earthquake. Nope, I can't use Earthquake. It's all right. I'm just I'm just gonna switch into Magnezone and I'm gonna use a Thunderbolt. Why do I care about anything? I don't care about anything. What are you gonna use? Stealth Rock? Yeah, of course you are. And I trap you, so you can't do crap to me. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use Thunderbolt because I know you're bulky. I know you're very very bulky, so I cannot use Volt Switch. And expect you to die. So I'm going to use Thunderbolt. Hopefully you will faint. You probably won't faint still because I know you're very bulky. That's why I'm using Thunderbolt. Because if I use Volt Switch, I have to go out into something. And now Talonflame has been uh, deemed almost completely useless. At least I can't Volt Turn. But that's alright. See? That's why I couldn't use... That's... That's... That's annoying. That's really, really annoying. Whatever, man. I'm just going to go into Garchomp and... Should I go into Garchomp? Okay, hold on here. Yeah, I need you for uh, to kill to kill the Ferrothorn. So, I'm going to go out into Garchomp. I need I need Mana Zone for the Ferrothorn and uh and stuff. He's going to keep on using Yawn until he gets me to get damage and stuff. But I don't care. I'm going to use Earthquake because, again, I need this thing to get... To just get out of here, man. That thing is annoying. And I might get put to sleep now, but it's alright. I need the Scarf Zone for stuff. Alright, and I need... Okay, so Talonflame takes care of Greninja. Garchomp was, is actually necessary to deal with the Ampharos. Is this an Ampharos? No, it's this thing. And this is where I get all sad and stuff. I want an Earthquake because I want to die right now and... He's going to use Power Up Punch. Okay, alright, I see you. Probably faster than me. What's he going to do? Wait, does he get Ice Punch? I don't think he gets Ice Punch. Does he get Ice Punch? No, I think... I'm pretty sure he gets Ice Punch. 
I'm gonna use Rock Tomb right now. Hopefully his speed gets lower. That's what I'm hoping. Probably has oh no, he has Water Shuriken. Why am I using Rock Tomb? Oh man, I just messed up. I just seriously, 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 seriously messed up. I used Rock Tomb. No, 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 I didn't mess up. Because now he's slower. Now he has to do, he has to make some plays now. Alright, I'm in good shape. Now I can use Earthquake. This guy got greedy, man. This guy got super greedy. I'm going to use Earthquake now. I don't know what, I don't remember his team. That's the problem. I don't remember if he has something that, like, is immune to Earthquake. I know Chandelure and Ampharos do not appreciate Earthquake, and I can... Oh, yeah. Yeah, he has Water Shuriken. Plus two Water Shuriken is going to do a lot of damage. <laughs> Did I just say a lot of damage? <laughs> oh, I take that back. <laughs> Oh man, Greninja, why? <laughs> you don't have Ice Punch? He can't learn Ice Punch? You guys let me know if he can learn Ice Punch or not. I don't know. I don't care because, I mean... I only use... Alright, okay. So, I think right now is the perfect time to use Earthquake. Because I don't know if he's Mega. He probably is Mega, actually. Maybe it would be my best interest to use Outrage. You know what? I'm going to use Outrage. Predicting a Mega? But Earthquake is my safest play. Uh huh. Mm. I literally have no other way of winning without Outrage, so I can't do it. I'm gonna I'm gonna go for an Outrage. Should I go for an Earthquake? I want to go for a safe Earthquake. He might not Mega Evolve. Yeah, okay, so I definitely went for the safer move. Because, again, he might not Mega Evolve, and we just killed him. And that wasn't even a critical hit. And I was going for an Outrage. See, guys, you do not want to overpredict your opponent. If you do that, you're going to be in trouble. Now, there's only two games, and I think I can do one more. So I, can only, so I only have to do two battles in the last game, and that would be good. So after getting completely outplayed first game, oh my goodness, Breloom, you are so good. Uh, we came back with our, our own 3-0 in the second game, so that was nice. And hopefully we can finish off this episode with another really nice win. First game versus Breloom, I definitely could have won, but I had to play that better. I uh, messed up, so my opponent just outplayed me. It's alright because you learn from your losses. From that loss, I learned that, seriously, if you're facing someone who has 1,700 plus points, you have to give them the respect and you have to uh, make plays based on that, alright? So you're not going to predict that he's going to go for a Spore, no. He knows that I have a Sceptile, he's not going to go for a Spore. Alright, we finished this episode with somebody who's an 1826, we'll see what happens. Very formidable op opponent, very worthwhile opponent to say the least. I predict my opponent to use a Weavile. Unfortunately, Weavile outspeeds my Magnezone. That is a serious pain. A serious pain. Very, very serious pain, actually. Uh, I want to start off with the Garchamp. I th is that the best move for me to make? I don't think that's the best move for me to make, actually, personally. But you know what? I'm going to do that. I am seriously going to do that. And... I have an Azumarill. Azumarill can set up and it can do things. Uh, it can set up and it can bop things. But when I see that Charizard and I hit Powdon, I think that's a Charizard Y. I really, really do. Man, this is going to suck. This is going to suck so, so, so much. What to do, what to do. I know he's going to lead off with the... Uh, uh, Weavile, and I want that thing to, to break my Garchomp. No, I mean, I want it to get Rocky Helmet damage to break its Sash. Uh, rough Skin damage. And then I'm going to go into Azumarill. Azumarill can put in work versus things. Not as good of the work as I wish it can, but I mean, it can put in work if I can set up at least. That's what's important, that I can set up. If I can set up, I'm in excellent shape, actually. Like, amazing shape. And then at the end, Sceptile can definitely put in work. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to have Sceptile last and not Talonflame, even though I feel like Talonflame can also print a lot of work, but then Sceptile can wreck things up. So then I feel like that's amazing. Um, so you know what? My last Pokemon is going to be Sceptile. So Garchomp, Azumarill, and Sceptile, we will see what will happen. He has Charizard, Hippowdon, Azumarill, Weavile, Ferrothorn, and a Raikou and Raikou might set up and that's going to be all sorts of trouble. So I'm going to start off with the Hippowdon. I respect that. I respect that a lot. I, lo I respect? I love that because I don't need Garchomp for anything. All I need to do is set up rocks and now I'm in perfect shape to do anything I want with my life. <laughs> I love the way I phrase that. that <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to set up my rocks first turn. And now I'm in excellent shape. If I can ever get an opportunity to set up with Azumarill. He's going to use Ice Fang. All right, I see you. I see you real loud and clear. Mm -hmm, I see you. It's a good thing I didn't switch out into any of my Pokemon. And I can't switch out into Azumarill because he might use Yawn or Whirlwind. And that's just not a good time. Even though if he has Ice Fang, he probably doesn't have any of that stuff. But, I mean, you can never be too sure. Anyways, I'm going to go use an Outrage right now. Because I want to hurry up and, like... He's going to kill me if he lands the Ice Fang anyway. So it's like, whatever. Uh, he's, I don't hope he doesn't... Okay, he's going to use Earthquake now. Ice Fang, Earthquake, a Rock-type move, and probably Whirlwind if I know my stuff correctly. I think that's what he would do, actually. I'm just going to Mega Evolve and go into uh, my homeboy right here. Let's see what you can do, buddy. I'm going to Mega Evolve, and I'm just going to go straight up for a Giga Drain. Though I do feel like, actually... I'm gonna, You know, I don't want to take risks here, though. I feel like Giga Drain is my best move, and I want to go for Giga Drain because... No, I want to do a calc here. I want to do a calc. I'm going to do a calc. Hippowdon. Physically defensive. Uh, okay, I need to use Giga Drain. Dragon Pulse will not kill it. Mega Evolve and use Giga Drain. Because nothing else I can use can kill it. Dragon Pulse will not kill it. Well, it has a chance, but again, it's just a chance. Whereas Giga Drain is guaranteed. And uh, Leaf Storm, of course, can kill it, but I'm not going to use that if I don't need to. Again, I told you guys earlier, if I don't need to, I'm not going to. And Focus Blast does not do that either. Focus Blast is weaker than Dragon Pulse, so it's a good thing I went for the safe Giga Drain. Is he going to come out with the Weavile? Because I party on Weavile. Nope, he has an Azu. The fact that he went into Azu has seriously scared the crap out of me. Is he Sap Sipper? He might be Sap Sipper. And that would be insane. I'm just gonna go for a Leaf Storm. He's probably Sap Sipper. Okay, he's not Sap Sipper. Really? You would seriously go into your Azumarill? Okay, he's probably bluffing the fact that he might be Sap Sipper. Like, if he was Sap Sipper, he could have legitimately uh, took the boost and then killed me off. Because he might not have huge power offense. And right now I'm just going to go for a safe Dragon Pulse. Because I'm pretty sure I can kill this guy off with my, uh, with my, what's my home, what's homeboy called? I can kill him off with my Azumarill no matter what. So I'm just going to go for a safe Dragon Pulse. And, uh, hopefully he doesn't have Roost. If he has Roost, I am screwed in all sorts of ways. Okay, he doesn't have Roost, and he doesn't even have Dragon Pulse or Hidden Power Ice. 
but we don't survive anyway because that's way too powerful, way, way too powerful. But I think he's in enough range of health that Azumarill can pull through. So, oh my goodness, Sceptile, you are amazing. All right, so I can pull through with an Aqua Jet, and I, I think my opponent was actually bluffing Sapsipper because, fun fact, guys, fun fact, a plus one, uh, like Sapsipper, he gives you immunity to grass, to grass type moves, and even though you don't have your huge power uh, times two attack anymore, once you get that uh, plus one buff to your attack by absorbing a grass type move, not only are you basically uh, walling a grass type move, but also you can KO things like Sceptile who are frail with the stab play rough at plus one, even though you don't have your typical huge power attacking stat. All right. So that was actually that was actually very scary, but it's a good thing I didn't fall for the bait and switch out otherwise. I think I would have lost that game. So very very nice tactic on my opponent to actually scare the hell out of me thinking that he was sap sipper. But uh but yeah, I mean there's nothing I could have done if it was sap sipper. And uh Honestly, Sap Sipper isn't all that useful, so most people don't run Sap Sipper. But in very select situations, sometimes Sap Sipper can be useful. But again, most of the time you're better off with not using Sap Sipper. That doesn't mean Sap Sipper is useless. Sap Sipper has its use if you can find yourself using it reliably and winning most of your games reliably with it. And with all that said, definitely check out part one and part three because there's more Sceptile action in those games and there's a team summary in part 1. Definitely subscribe to the channel if you like this content and check out the playlist, link is in the description if you want to see other similar Oras laddering series stuff that I've done. And if you're interested in how I got to 1917 and X and Y, then there's a playlist for that in uh, the description as well. So, so check that out. This is Groudon Empire. Peace out.